Come on. Come on, Dama. Come on, Bryson. Want to go play? Is that your friend? Is that your new friend? Come on, Dama. Come on. Good girl, Mommy. Good girl. Good boy, bye bye. You want me to take the leash off? <clears throat> Let's walk around a little bit. Make sure everybody's good. Good job. Here. <laughs> easy, Dama. Dama, easy. Easy. She's a lot bigger than him, so. Hi guys. Good job. It's okay. <laughs> Are you watching this? Go play, Bri Bri. That's your girlfriend. Hi, Mama. Easy. Good girl. Easy, easy. Dama, easy. Good girl. Gentle. Be nice. It's just her size, so if she like jumps on him, it'll freak him out. Dama? <laughs> Good girl, Mama. Right? She's so doofus. You're so silly, Mama Dama. You're so silly. Good girl. You're hopping. You're like a deer. <laughs> Easy, Dama, 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 Dama. Easy. Easy. You have to be gentle, Mama. You have to be gentle. He's small. It's okay. It's okay. Easy, Dama. Easy, easy. You can't jump on him. You'll hurt him. It's okay, Mama. It's okay. Good girl. Just go easy. Easy, Dama. Easy, easy. She's very fast. Come on, Mama. It's okay. Come here. Dama, Dama. Easy, easy. Easy. He's little. He's a little boy. <laughs> I just, she gets so excited. If she jumps on him, he's going to freak. You know, I don't know if she knows her size. But it's good for them to run. They both listen. Good job. Go nice. Easy. Good boy. Easy. Dama, easy. Easy. Good girl. Good girl, Dama. She's magnificent. What? You can speak, Mama. You can talk. Deuce, aka Lazarus, is doing fantastic, improving daily. Thank you for asking. Bryson, come here. Come here. Come here. Oh. Come here. I'm going to hold you. 
<laughs> Come here, Mama. Come here. It's Bryce. <laughs> she doesn't know what to do with herself. <laughs> You're so happy, Mama. Is that what you wanted? Is that what you wanted to play? Bryson's heart is racing so fast. What? What? No, Bryson is very sensitive. And if she uses those paws and jumps on him, he's going to screech and I can't take it. But she's a happy girl. Look at that tail going. What? Go ahead. Do you want to go? You want to go down, Bryson? You can. <laughs> she wants to play right by. You can go if you want. Just be careful. <laughs> Easy. <laughs> Easy, Mama. Easy. 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 She's very excitable. <laughs> okay. What are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? Who's so happy? Who's such a happy dama, Mama? Bryson is a permanent resident. Yes, he is. Are you smiling? Are you a happy you? And you know what? I think you and Tango are going to have fun tomorrow. You and Tango are going to have fun and play tomorrow. What? 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 What, Mama? What, Mama? I love seeing you so happy. You asked for it, guys. I'm letting them play. Stop. If I put him down, easy, 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 easy. Dama, Dama, easy with the paws. Oh, my God. Eh, 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 eh. Oh, heart attack. It's just she's so strong. She doesn't realize. Good girl. Easy, dama, dama, dama. Oh my God, the zoomies. <laughs> easy, 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 dama. See, it's, she's too rough. He'll get squashed and scream. It's okay, it's okay. It's good, 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 good. Da, 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 da. Uh, okay, okay. Bryson, Bryson, easy, Bryson. Come here, dama. Oh my God. Bryson, come here. Right, Dama, stop, Dama, Dama. Stop, 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 too much, too much. She doesn't know her strength. <laughs> You're making me dizzy. Bryson, come here, Bry. Okay, that's good. That's a good, good first, good first. Come here. Okie doke, let's go, too much. That's good, mommy. Guys, trust me, she's very excitable right now, very excited. And she goes really fast, and he goes really fast, and she's going to pounce on him, and he is going to get injured. So, little, small, little meet and greets until she calms down. <laughs> he does not hold his own, with the, his own with the size. Come on. I don't want him getting pounced on. Uh-oh. Okay. I thought I got locked out. Come on. Come on, Dama. You're a good girl. Good girl. Come on, Dama, in here. Come on. Come on, Dama. Good girl. Good girl, Mama. Stay right there. Okay. Good girl. Good boy. Where are you going, Bri-Bri? Bri-Bri, come on. 
Bryson. I did sit and hold, and they just want to go. He wanted, they both wanted to go, so I need her to calm down a bit. She's very, very hyper because she's letting out her puppy, um, and she's going extremely fast, and there was a couple of times where she got really close, and she would have just pounced on him. Trust me, I know my dogs. Why is Bryson a permanent resident now? Because he's ours. Because Bryson has had, how many meet and greets have you had, Bryson? And you try to bite everybody because you don't want to leave this house. I swear he shakes and he hides and he tries to bite people's ankles because he thinks that they're going to take him away. So he's not going anywhere. Come here, baby. Good girl, Mama. I know. I know. Okay, stay there. Come on, Bry. Bryson. Come on. Good job. Get it. Eh, eh. Good boy. Shane, hold on. I've just been juggling. So when I shut down a little bit ago, I've just been rotating and getting everybody outside. You want to go out again after your dinner? Your eighth dinner? I'm sorry, your sixth dinner. Come on. And here's our Shane. Watch your tail. There goes the Christmas balls. Do you want to say hello? Do you want to say hi? <laughs> She's pretty, Shane. She's pretty. There's no love affair there, huh? You like Bryson. Yep, got her ready for a visit. Let's go, Bubba. Oh, stop. Come on, Shane. Come on. Come on, Shane. Come on, Shane. Come on. Come on. Let's go. Come. Come. Uh -uh. Shane, no, no, no. Shane, what do you want? You want a tree? You just ate, buddy. They already played. Let who play? You guys are ridiculous. Come on. I'm not going to let Shane play. Shane just came out of the shelter yesterday, so I'm not going to mix him with another dog right this second. He needs to be quarantined. We don't need anybody. Not that he's coughing right now. Good job. Good job. Good job. Come on, let's go. It's all gone, Shane. Boo. I'm sorry. Your name is Boo. Boo. A boo. What's your name? Say, my name is Boo. I don't know who Shane is. Love that name. He ate, he, he ate six meals today. Six. So, yes, six meals. For any of you that are jumping on right now and missed my video earlier this evening, um, this is Shane. We're calling him Boo because his original name was Bull and he was an owner surrender. <laughs> so he knows his name is Bull. And I don't like the name. Do you like the name Bull? Huh? Or Boo? Where are you going? You just got here. He doesn't want to be outside. He doesn't want to be outside. Boo Shane. Boo. Boo. Boo boo. Boo boo. He doesn't want to stay outside. He wants to go right back to his room. I let him out. He wants to go back in. He doesn't want to be outside anymore. This dog lived outside his whole life. No doubt. This was our rescue from yesterday. That, that foot, do you see the size? That is the size of his tumor. No lie. This whole thing is the size of his tumor, wrapped, cleaned and wrapped. And tomorrow it comes off the wrap. And we're gonna soak it and rewrap it and give him a nice hot, hot bath, bubbly bath. It's gonna smell so good. 
I couldn't bathe him because she wrapped it and she wanted to stay on until tomorrow. So she said when we take it off, we can give him a nice bath. Good boy. Good boy. So I'm trying to read all these comments. Bull bear. <laughs> I'm trying to read all these comments as they're coming in. There's so many. There's like almost five, 600 people. Um... I'm doing the best I can. Leave me alone. Thank you, Georgia. I know everybody's so hard on me. You comment like the dogs can hear you. That's okay. I talk to them. I talk to them like they're people. They understand. Lotus, what's wrong with his foot? We rescued him from the Miami Dade Kill Shelter yesterday. All the live video feeds are on our Facebook page from his rescue from the Miami Dade Kill Shelter after we received an urgent plea by email with the photo of his foot and I nearly died. Everybody was going crazy on social media. We were being tagged day and night on this dog. His name was Bull, B-U-L-L. -L. Um, love you too, Kristen Kramer. <clears throat> but um, I, I knew I couldn't turn away. So we pulled him and then we immediately, thank God I reached out to our board certified surgeon, Dr. Babeski the best of the best and um, she saw him yesterday she did a biopsy of the tumor she responded back to me and said oh my god so I said when you somebody like you says that to me that scares me but the I don't know how much I don't she mentioned something about a partial amputation I'm against it because we did it before and it was nothing but headache with infection uh, the prosthetic the rubbing the irritation it was awful. And we've had many, a good couple of handfuls of tripods throughout the years. And they've made a full recovery and lived an amazing life. They don't even know they're missing a limb. They run. Little River that we rescued, we had to amputate her leg. The little black looking, small little lab, um, she was missing a leg after we amputated. This, that girl ran around this yard 150 miles an hour. She could, the dogs couldn't even keep up with her. And her mama said she's doing amazing with their other dog. She's so fast and she's so happy. So I want him to be pain free. I want that angry tumor to be gone. Um, it's been with him for so long. It's not something that happened or developed overnight. He's been living with this horrible, infected, oozing tumor. It's, it's just an angry tumor, as Tammy had said when she saw it. So it was the best word that to describe this tumor. <clears throat> and he, def, he definitely needs to be, it definitely needs to be amputated. We spoke about it. If, if she gets in there and she says, Amy, I can save it, I will be shocked and I'll be so happy. I don't see it happening, but yet again, who knows? You know, I was sitting here thinking, like, where it is, like, say, your ankle, um, your wrist type of thing. Um, if you just, if you were to cut off your hand and you'd have your arm, I don't know if they can do that. I don't even know. That's, you know, I don't know. I don't know. And it, it wouldn't hit the ground, so I don't know. if It would just be dangling. I, I don't know. I don't know. I, we have to wait and see. But regardless, he's going to get... Um, whatever he needs, he's going to get. I just wish we could, I just want to do it sooner than later. Uh, some of you have been asking about Oreo, uh, a dog that one of my friends in rescue, Dana, she reached out to me and said, Amy, I am not in the position to help. But this girl, Ashley, reached out and asked if she was begging. She was crying, begging for assistance. Uh, her dog apparently was in excruciating pain and couldn't walk a little rat terrier about 10 years of age and she went to three veterinarians during the beginning of this whole pandemic and three veterinarians turned her away and wouldn't even treat her dog because she she lost her job she didn't have the funds she couldn't get approved for care credit so they basically just told her they couldn't do anything helicopter tail they couldn't do anything for her so with that being said i agreed to meet her 
at our animal hospital um, and they diagnosed that she needed an FHO surgery, which is a hip replacement because it's bone on bone rubbing and it's very painful. So oh, I'm talking about Oreo because people were asking about the dog that I featured on one of our live videos a couple weeks ago. Anyway, um, she was scheduled for surgery and then I will say it and say it again. No good deed goes unpunished. Hold on, guys. Get All these motorcycles. What are they doing out this late? Quiet down, Bri Bri. Come on, Shane. I mean, Bull. Hi, dummy. You tired now? Come on, Bull baby. Come on, Bull baby. Boo boo. Boo boo baby. Oh, that's a good name. Changing your name every day. Talk about being confused. You have floating food in your water. Floating, floating food. Stay. Ah, ah. Stay. Stay, stay, stay. There. You don't want to be alone. I don't blame you. I don't blame you. You want me to come in and cuddle with you for a few? Huh? So, as I was saying, I'm just updating you on Oreo. I'm distracted. Back, back. Back, back. I'm coming in. I'm coming in. I'm coming. You don't want to be alone. I get it. Come. Let's lay down together. Want to go into bed? <laughs> Wait, let me sit down. You can't get close enough. Boo boo. Boo boos. Oh. Okay. Okay. I'm right here. So Oreo, she called me, texted me in the middle of the night. Um, he's licking my phone. <laughs> that um, her dog Oreo was vomiting. And it was, it smelled of death. It smelled of feces. So she rushed her in. And of course she had no money. So we paid for that. Uh, Dr. Babevsky had to cut a part of her small intestines and repair it. It had a hole, which was something that would have happened. It was a long time um, coming, apparently an old injury. And we repaired that for uh, two to $3,000. I didn't even look at, I don't even know what the total was. And then she went to the 24-hour animal hospital, which we also paid for, for her to recover for three nights around the clock care with pain management. And then she was released yesterday and uh, she picked her up um, and she went home with pain meds for her FHO. And then I left her about two cases of wet food and some dry food outside of our door at the house here she picked up. So next is the FHO. So that's another 3000 at least surgery. So here's us as a rescue, um, you know, doing, doing something good for a dog and for a person who came upon hard times. And, uh, yeah, so, and she's a 10 year old dog, but hopefully she'll have a few, if not three, four, five, who knows how many years left. Mm -hmm. We helped her. I'm just sorry. I'm just reading a text message. It just came in. Everything's fine. Boo boo, I can't do the video when you're on my face. I can't. You just can't get close enough. What are you doing? Where's boo boo baby? Where's my boo baby? Where's my happy boo baby? Do you see how Velcro he is and starving for love? Can you blame him? Can't blame him. Come here, baby. Come lay down with me. Come on. Lay down. Come lay down. Sit. Sit. Ow my toe. Sit. Sit down. Aw, thank you. Thank you. Okay, climb all over me. It's okay. You can climb all over me. This is the face I fell in love with in your picture. This is the handsome, sweet eyes I fell in love with. Yeah, I knew I had to help you. We're gonna make you all betters. We're gonna make you all betters and we're gonna get you in the best loving home. Yes. Can you stand this sweet face? Look at this big baby. He's four years of age. Uh, so glad you are helping the other lady out. We are too. We are too. Have they suggested about his leg? So you guys are jumping on and you're asking questions that I've already spoke about like a million times and um <clears throat> All the information is at the beginning, so you're going to have to, when I shut down, dude, you're on my leg, I can't move. 
when I shut down, go back and watch from the beginning. I'm not saying tonight because it's late, but it'll answer all your questions, I promise. Um, could be she can live to be absolutely Sophie Oreo could live to be 16 years old she's a little rat terrier so she could live to be a, a, a nice 16 17 she's 10 God willing and she'll live pain free because they say that it, she's an excruciating pain puppy's great Lazarus aka deuce is fantastic he's improving daily he's adorable he is already attached. Gidget's great. She's in foster. She's doing wonderful. Gonna get rid of those balls, dude. We gotta get rid of the punching bag. We don't want those. We have to get rid of those when you go under. Yes, we're gonna make you perfect. You're almost perfect now. You're about perfect right now. Yeah. Can you stand this face? <laughs> Thank you for the kisses. Oh, the wet kisses. Wet kisses and dog hair. What else is... What, what's better than that? There's nothing better. I can't do a video of him because he's in my phone. His face is... <laughs> in my phone. He can't get close enough. <clears throat> if I sit on this bed, are you going to come on this bed? Let me see. I, yep. Oh. You're going to sit up here with me? Yep. You coming up? Come on. Yep. That was fast. Come on. Is it too small? <laughs> this is for small Pape. This is a small dog house. How did you get here? This is really, you know, this is house two. This was a house open just for small doggies. Next door is where the big doggies are. But you know what? You're so special. That we made an exception. Mm -hmm. You were number, I think, three. We had Simba and Braun. And I think you're number... Th no, McCarthy was here for a while. And Dama's here. I lied. You're not number three. But you're still worthy of giving up this room. We fit like... We've had three or four dogs in this room at one time. Guys, I'm going to show you this. I can't believe I'm putting it on me because I look like crap. But... <clears throat> So I'm sitting on the dog bed and he has to be on me. Right? You wanna lay down with me? Come on, lay down. Come on, lay down. Oh sure, now you're gonna make a liar out of me? You're gonna make a liar out of me? Huh? Hold on. Now would be a good time for a tripod. Oop, I didn't mean that. I meant a tripod for my phone. Tripods are special. They're special puppies. You need more waters, baby. I'll get you fresh waters. I love this dog. I could cuddle up with him. And I could sleep with you all night, boo-boo. You are delicious, everybody says. You're delicious. Lay down. There we go. There we go. There. Finally, I love you. Thank you, Kate, Kathy. Can you believe, Kathy, when you said, did you do court for McCarthy? I've gotten subpoena after subpoena of it being postponed, postponed. I still have not gone to court on that case. It's unbelievable. Unbelievable. And Judah's surgery is Monday. Uh, tomorrow, Shelly is going to take him for blood work again to check his levels. And, um, and then Monday is his surgery to remove his tumor. Ringo got adopted from the shelter. Yep, we checked on him. You like when I rub you? McCarthy's fantastic. He's a beast. He's doing great. His foster ended up adopting him. He's in love. I feel good. I can't with this. I can't. 
the other lump on his leg. I mentioned that to the surgeon. She said it. She's not worried about it, so I told her I would like to have it taken off. You can see that. I don't like it. I don't like it at all. Let me see. Show everybody. Stay right there. No, 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 no. Stay, stay, stay. Stay. I don't like it. Looks like a... Why are you kissing my phone, Bobo? You don't want me to touch it? That's the other growth right there. I don't like it. I'm going to ask her to get rid of it. We don't need that. We don't need that yuckiness. Yucky. I can't adopt anything, Judy. I am <laughs> I am the owner of four dogs, a cat, a pig, and Bryson. Those are my babies. So no more dogs for me. Nope. I'm done. That's it. I'm fifty one, so by the time I take Wilbur and Bryson home, um, my dogs are older, so I, I'm going to have a pig for 18, 50, God willing, 15 to 18 years in Bryson and whoever else. I love these dogs back to health and our job is to love them, revive them, rescue, revive them, and then rehome them. Hey baby, you tired? Do you want to go lay down and get some sleep? Can I put you back to bed? You don't want me to leave, do you? I know. You don't want me to leave you? Huh? I can't with his face. You got the best eyes. The lump on his back, on the back leg? He doesn't have a lump on the back leg. What are you talking about? Oh, this thing. Yeah, she's going to look at that. But it's loose and it moves, so... But she's going to look at it. She's going to check out everything, believe me. We're not going to let anything. And you can see... Look at the callus on his elbows from him having to... Look at that. From living outside on the pavement. It's a dog that lives outside. All this stuff you have, you should, we're going to soften that up with some coconut oil, huh? And we work on cleaning and making that soft. What do you think? You're going to love your bath tomorrow, Shane. You're going to love your bath. You're going to smell so yummy. I'm checking you out. I'm checking every inch out. Shane, watch me try to get out of the room. This is fun. No, Shane, Shane, listen to me. It's, it's Shane. It's late. It's late. You need to rest. You need your rest. Look, he tries to get out. Look, he doesn't want me to leave. Shane. Here, Shane. Back. <laughs> nope. Boo boo. Boo boo. Bo. Bo. Back. Bo. Back. Bo. Uh uh. Bo. Back it up. Back. Watch, you're gonna try to break out with me. Stay. Bo. 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 I beat you. I beat you, boo-boos. I know. Shh. Go lay down on the beds. Go lay down on the beds. Go lay down, boo-boos. I know, monkey. I love you, too. You again? Are you ready again? Wilbur, are you going to wake everybody up? <laughs> what is it? Nine nights? Nine nights, Wilbur's? You want to come out one more time? Come on, one more time before we go see Beast. 
Let's go. Come on, we'll give you a treat. Come on. Come on, snack time. Come on, one more time. Come on, Wilbur. Listen, if you think that I thought at 51 years of age and doing rescue basically my whole life of some kind, that I would be an owner <laughs> of a pig, you're crazy. I am out here sometimes by myself, no videos. And Wilbur Boo! Wilbur, Wilbur, Boo, Boo, Boo! Up, up, up! Up, 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 Wilbur! Up, up, up! If you thought I'd, I'm out here walking around with him and I'll pet him and give him belly rubs and I'll just look at him and give him the most amazing kisses and belly rubs and just connect with him on my own time. And I look at him and I'm like, I can't believe you are mine. I can't believe that I have a pig and a cute the cutest pig I ever did see Wilbur's pretty cute Wilbur's but you know Wilbur I was looking at your pictures when you were a baby when you came in in December and he was 10 pounds he was the same exact size as Bryson now he's probably the last time we weighed him he was 30 30, 30, 30 or 33 pounds. I guarantee he's up over 40. I don't know. He's a piece. He's, he's, he's getting longer. <laughs> you're getting longer and um, your, your belly is supposed to have that belly. He's a pot belly. He's just maturing. He's about almost a year. Because when we got him, he was six, seven months. So. No, when he roots, it doesn't hurt at all. He just takes his snout and he keeps pushing it into your leg and pushing it into your foot because that's his way of loving you when he's trying to tell you something. Um, he is neutered. He is vaccinated. He is microchipped. 33. Thank you, Renee. He was 33 pounds when we took him for his pedicure. And Nat Geo, where we take him to his vet, the Nat Geo show, they film at this animal hospital that we go to for him they do all the exotic pets it's pretty cool because every time we would go we would see a pet monkey we would see um, a pet raccoon on a leash and harness and they filmed him from when he was a baby so every time I think it was three times that we were there they filmed us and him so I was told that the show is going to be airing soon of Wilbur with Wilbur on it I, I, I'm very excited. I, I have never watched that show, but I hear it's pretty cool. So, Wilbur, you're a superstar. He, Wilbur was on the news here, local Florida. Right, Wilbur? Do you remember when they were saying that you were going to the sanctuary? And then what happened, Wilbur? You never went to the sanctuary, did you? Nope, because you stole our hearts, and I couldn't, couldn't let you go. Nope, you stole everybody's hearts here. Everybody loves Wilbur's. Do you want a belly rub? Hmm? Let me see your eye. You've got goopies. <laughs> Good night, Leslie. Leslie just sent me a text. She left house one. She was taking care of Red and Senna and Sam and Susie and Dalton. Come here, baby. Do you want a belly rub? He does get vitamins, actually. They gave us a uh, liquid vitamin to put into his food. So we give him that. Um, he eats all day. <laughs> no, he gets two meals a day. He, re he gets uh, piggy pellets and a combo of a ton of different vegetables. And then he gets blueberries for a treat. He's never going to the sanctuary, no. He's mine. He's spoiled. He's domesticated. He thinks he's a dog. He doesn't want to be outside. He wants to go in. When it's hot, he hates being outside. He'll come out. He'll root a little bit in his grass on the side yard. 
And then we're building him a house over there. So when he is out, he will never be out here without us. But when he is out and it's cooler and he wants to hang out longer, if he chooses and not be inside in his room air conditioned with his fluffy beds and blankets that he loves to cover himself with, then um, he'll have some shelter because it's hot. He does get sunscreen because pigs can get burnt. They can get sunburned. He will eventually go to my home, yes. He will eventually be coming home with Carol and I and living indoors with us. That's going to be fun, Wilbur. Is that going to be fun, Wilbur? You just better stay the size. Because I, I, Esther the pig is like 600 pounds and I, I can't, I don't know what to do with a 600 pound pig, Wilbur. He's not going to be no 600 pounds. But who knows? He could be 100. He could be more. He has the best eyelashes. Wilbur, come here. Do you want a belly rub? Come here. Come here. Come here. He loves when I rub his neck and massage his ears. It's so thick. His little mohawk. Pig. They have hair. They don't have fur. Pigs. I hear you chomping, Wilbur. Now he's going down. Yeah. <laughs> You're going down, Wilbur. Go on. Go down. Spread it out. There you go. Can I come down there and rub on you? Hmm? Do you want me to come down there? You love the massage. Or are you going to get up? No, no, no. Don't get up. Don't get up. Well, do you want to go in your room and massage? Come on. You want to massage in the room? Or over here? What do you want? Oh, let me sit down, Wilbur. I'm tired too, you know. So it's the circle rubbing the belly. If he doesn't want to go down, he fights me and he backs up. Or if he does want to go down, he gets closer and closer. So I rub him under the neck, rest his head on my arm, and he gets sleepy. What are you doing? Well, but don't bite my feet. Stop it. No love bites. Stop it. Don't you push my hand away. You're being a brat. You're not going to get any more blueberries if you don't stop it. You're going to be in the room alone if you're not a nice boy. You can be a brat. Be a nice boy. Smell the doggies on me. Hmm? <laughs> Stop. Wilbert, come on. Stop it. Come up. Be nice. Come here. Come here. Come over here, Wilbur. Come up here with me. Come on. Up. Get up here. Come. Up. Come on. Watch. Wilbur. Come up here. Come. Come. Good job. Don't eat my Wilbur bracelet. See the sugar. I think, you know what? That's what it is. You get really, no more blueberries. That's it. You need to stick with cucumbers and zucchini and that's it. You know, you have too much sugar and you get really cranky. You do, Wilbur. You're like a kid on crack. He does. He smells so pungent. So pungent of maple syrup. That's what it is. It's the sugar. That's it. No more. Come on. Go pee-pee. You got to pee. 
Wilbur, we didn't come out here just to eat blueberries. You have to go pee pee. Come on. Are you done? Is that it? What do you want, Will? Do you want to go in or you want to stay out? It's the fruit, for sure. No worries, Wilbur. I have all night. All night, whatever is whatever. The world is, it's all yours, Wilbur. I'm here to just serve you. Yep. I'm st ever since I rescued him, I've been craving pancakes. Wilbur, I'm tired. He's giving me the stink side eye. You done? You want to go in? Go ahead. Let's go. Yes, I do sleep here. Come on. Come on, Wilbur. You, you know what? You drained all my battery. My phone is going to die. From now on, you're going to get maybe a, two blueberries a day. That's it. This fruit thing puts you over the edge. This is what we need to give you. Cucumber and zucchini. That's it. Let's do it. We're going to say night nights. Come on, Wilbers. Yeah, then you come running. You're all about the food, Wilbur. That's all you care about. You don't care about anything else but food. And look at the mess. Here, go get it. In here, you bet. Go get it. Oh. Wilbur is potty trained. Um, once in a blue moon, he'll have an occasional pee pee accident, but never, ever has he pooped in his room. Come on. Oh, is this your bowl from dinner? Yes. And if I put water in here, he flips it over and he loves to just make a mess. So I give him the water and I pick it up. Come here. <laughs> here. Let's fluff out your blankies, your pig blankie. Oh, look at this one, Wilbur. Here's all your blankies. These are nice, Wilbur. He loves to literally get in bed and burrow. That's his favorite. Go ahead, Wilbs. What about your pillow? You love this. I, I come in and I can't find Wilbur and he's underneath the blankets and the piggy pillow is on top of him. I swear to you. I'll put it here. So you're rooting again. <laughs> You're rooting all over me, Wilbur's. You want to come and cuddle? Come on. Come on. You smell like maple syrup right now. You smell so strong of maple syrups. Does that feel good in the ears? Uh-huh. You don't like me in your bed, huh? You get weirded out. You don't like it. You won't come near me. Come on, Wilbur. Wilbur. <laughs> What's wrong with you tonight? What is it? What's wrong? Huh? What? You talking? You rooting on my shoe? <laughs> Down goes to piggy. Down goes to piggy. 
Which everybody, your eyelashes, how beautiful. I mean, handsome you are. So handsome. Look at those eyelashes. And look at that face. Look at this, what did this, where do you get this from? Where did you get this? You didn't have all this when you were a baby, Wilbur's. I was looking at his teeth today. There's a little teeth. You have little teeth in the front. <laughs> little teethies in the front. I love you. You ready for bed? Huh? Tomorrow's another day. Lots of good stuff, right? We'll go swimming tomorrow. What do you think? Mama loves you. Yeah. Oh, he smells so much like maple syrup right now. I wish you could smell him. Here's your party, Piggy Wilbur. That's your friend. That's your friend. Yeah, you're going to sleep. He's now you're tired. Are you tired now? I love you. <laughs> I can't see because my battery's going down, but. Give me the maple syrup. Mm -hmm. Give me the maple syrup. <laughs> I love that boy. I love that boy. All right, well, you're going to bed and I'm going to bed. Okay? Let me get you one piece of fruit before I get out of here. I mean veggie, sorry. Wilbur, here. One cucumber for the night. Come on. Ready? Go get it. This is my chance to sneak out. <laughs> Good night, my little man. I love you so much. You get sweet dreams, and I'll see you tomorrow, okay? Nighty night. Night nights. He has a little piggy night light, and he goes right to bed. Good night, Shane. I'm going to get you some water. You're still wagging that tail? Why aren't you sleeping yet? Why aren't you sleeping yet? I'm going to get you water, and you're going to go to bed too, okay? My battery is going down because I've been videoing nonstop for hours all day. I've been charging in between, but it's just been one of those days. So I am going to shut down and get everybody ready for bed, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Sweet dreamies, I love you so much. Sweet dreams, boys. Love you, love you, love you, love you. Waldo and Bryson, Bobby and Romeo are in there. Rodney was just out with me for a while and he's sleeping. Dama's tired. I love you, Dama. Nighty night, mamas. Everybody's good, guys. So everybody have sweet dreams. It's been a long day, a beautiful day. Stay safe. And I'll see you tomorrow, 100 plus abandoned dogs of Everglades, Florida.